Welcome to Conversations with Kay. I'm just going to jump right into this because I don't have a lot of time like other people have. Uh, there's been so much said about me and so many videos made in the last week, but I simply don't have that amount of time. Um, I would like to answer everything, but yeah, it would take hours and hours, and I just don't have hours to give. But I am going to address this because it's so important to me. And I think it shows so much of what was really going on for the last year. So, let's just take a listen to what Aaron said. At work, uh, I, I have a retired attorney that comes in. And he, he used to work the federal court um, circuit up here in upstate New York. And we were talking one day. And it was when all this shit, a lot of this shit was going on. And I asked him, you know, like, what what kind of, you know, how, what kind of trouble could someone get into for, you know, images like this? And it's like, well, what do you mean? What kind of images? I said, well, you know, Photoshop, like CP is like, well, what do you mean Photoshop? So I explained to him, you know, I said, it's, it's really poorly Photoshopped. I mean, it's clearly like they, they'll take like my dot, my daughter's minor face and put it on an adult naked woman's body, you know, but like the skin colors doesn't match. None of, none of it matches up. It's clearly, it looks like it was, someone took a sticker and put it on top of it, you know? And, um, and he said, he explained to me, he said, well, that wouldn't qualify as CP, you know, probably. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, well, it has to, it has to be passable. Like, that's just, that's like, that can be seen as satire or whatever. It's grossly, you know, in, inappropriate and very poor, poorly tasted satire, but satire nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> and he was, he was saying that it has to be passable. It has to be, it has to be indistinguishable when i tell you my jaw dropped listening to that clip my jaw dropped i couldn't believe aaron would even say that it's shocking and yes it absolutely is cp it is illegal it's called morphed cp you could do your own due diligence and look it up I've known about it for years because I remember reading about the court cases. Pedos love this kind of stuff. They started doing this years ago to get around the laws. So that way they could still do what they wanted and thought they would be clear and free and could do it. So yeah, new laws had to be passed to address it. That's how prevalent it is. You're acting like Nat made this up and like this has never been done before and it's not real CP and oh my gosh, I just can't even believe this stuff came out of your mouth. I really can't. And I think what's more disturbing is the smirk on your face while you're talking about it and the little laughs in there. It's just so weird to me. I can't, I can't even wrap my mind around it. I really can't. But here's an article about Morph CP. I'll put a link, but there's many, many articles about it. I think it started coming up back in 2008, which is a big reason I don't hardly post pictures of any family members anymore, because I remember reading about it. It's just, it's so shocking to me that you would be so flippant about this and what Nat did, because make no mistake, this is what Nat did. And you know it's what Nat did. So that makes it even more bizarre that you've been going to bat for Nat. She's in your chats. She's in your comments. You're defending her. You're saying she should get to talk. She needs to be able to tell her side. Have you lost your mind? See, it never made sense to me for the last year. I have asked this over and over. Why is it that Tina, Steve, and Aaron have continually come after me for over, well, a year now. And Chesh, but Chesh is gone now. But boy, you slid right into Chesh's chair, chair, didn't you? Faster than you can open a bottle of wine, you slid right in that chair. But I digress. Then you start getting heat on Twitter and YouTube, so you try to walk it back. You try to put all the blame on your friend and say... Well, that's what my friend said. I didn't say it wasn't CP. Well, here's the tweet. 
Let's read a little bit of it. It wasn't actual CP. What was sent to many of us was ridiculously poorly photoshopped images. Really? <laughs> you, the proof is right here. This is you saying this. This is not your friend saying it. And I don't think you get to speak for other people because I know for a fact they don't feel the same way. But here we are, we're coming full circle. All this time for the last year, you've been telling people that I accuse you of horrific things like CP. You have said this in video after video, comment after comment, tweet after tweet, and now you say it's not CP. You can't even make this crap up. So now what people have to ask themselves, and plenty are, is why? Why are you all of a sudden defending that? Letting her in your chats. But today we see no good deed goes unpunished. I've told you that before. You know, Nat, you know better, but you did it anyway. And look at what Nat's done to you now. And now you're going to turn it around and try to make it seem like it's anybody else but Nat. And anybody looking at the emails and messages knows it's Nat. And you have nobody to blame but yourself. You can try to make it look like it's somebody else, but we all know it's Nat. You know it's Nat. Did you really think just because you went to bat for Nat that she wouldn't double cross you again? Or are you just playing dumb? I think you're just playing dumb. You knew better. You know this has Nat written all over it. And this is why I said what I said during Nikki's stream. Because I knew the havoc it was going to cause. And I will always speak against somebody that makes CP or somebody that makes light of it. And I will always stand up for my friends. I have no regrets. I would do it all over again. And I said during that stream, I was making a huge target out of myself, and I did. And believe me, Nat has made herself known to me now. And that's fine. I'm a big girl. I knew what I was in for. That's it for today. I may have more to say later. I don't know. I don't have the copious amounts of time that Aaron has. So we'll see. But for the rest of you, I'm hoping to get back to my regular content. I haven't hardly even made any content for six months because I've been so busy. But this is not the content I want to make. I want to go back to uh, topics and true crime and leave this stuff in the past where it belongs. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have a good day and hold your family close.